Oh, we're right in. Oh my god, it's a B here. Oh my god, everyone's dead. And the site is lost. G2 are running okay. rampant. That was one of the cleanest executes I've never seen. <laughs> well, there is a big flank all the way through. Oh. Well, the flank now knowing about, the courtesy of the one bullet rattling past JKS. Mr. Savage trapped in a corner. Ooh. They trapped the Savage, but they can't tame the beast. They deal with him. And a 4v4 now presents itself to MIBR, but a lot of time ticked off this bomb. These double riders have got to be quick. They've got to be clean. They've got to be everything in between. Not quite finding the kills. Not quite finding the damage. Our MIBR. And so this one's looking safe for G2. Trying to tap on the bomb. They are getting given peaks, but no one's defusing. Ooh, and so G2 going to run away with the pistol. Modesty doing the bulk of the heavy lifting. Yeah, that was a cooked round anyway. That would have gone a lot better if someone you know, got on that bomb. Uh, it was only planted for the long side. You could have easily defused with only Hook CV out to stop it. And Jota was up right in front, keeping him boxed in and contained. So would love to see someone get on that bomb, force a little more of a fight out of G2, made them push out of their comfort cubbies and short side. Uh, but ultimately, there was no kit. There was not much chance. MP9s v Mac 10s. We answered this question earlier in the Outsiders big game. Let's see if we can get an updated bit of information. A second opinion. Yeah, exactly. And it's very balanced. 3v3. There's a couple of AKs in there as well, just to sweeten the deal. Yeah, but then there's the Eagles on the other side to level the playing field. Sure, balanced. Another five on the right. They're just going to say. Is it a unicorn round? It oh, might be. everyone. Everyone, pay attention. Unicorn round. You don't get these a lot. What noises do unicorns make, Harry? Kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how they're sounding, Hugo. Like demented horses. All right, got it. Right, that was... <laughs> that caught me off guard. Oh, my God. Guys, Any screeches? look. Look at this. Hooks is so good that no one even has to die in the rounds he's winning. He's found peace. Look at this. Wow. Truly one for the history books here. As the 2-0 and is taken and them, not a damage done. I'll call them the Hookstery books when he's done with them. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Not my best work. No, I think right? it probably was, actually. Tried, and maybe I... that says more about you than, <laughs> than it intended to. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thank you very much. And we're into the same round again, but hopefully with a different result. Hopefully some shooting. Oh, it's another unit. Well, you can't save this one, Harry, because they're buying up next. But they are in the wrong place. Oh, it would be so tempting, wouldn't it? Are we watching the same round again? No, a kill hath been found in amidst the madness. Bomb now planted. MP9 spamming. And nothing connecting just yet. G2, they've just got to get this one over the line. No kit, so <laughs> good luck with this one. He's failed in the come and out they go with a flashbang to spawn. It's going to be a quick duel back and forth. Miko wrapping the backside, keeps this in G2's pocket and MIBR save what they can. It's not a lot. They've got an AK, but Mac 10s rip through the MP9s. And keep a nice clean ish round for G2. They, I mean, you know, they, they lose one AK, but that's fine. It was worth it. Pretty easy 3 0 beginning, right? From a B play and an unretakable site to double saves and handshake before we get that into the was actually really sweet yeah, they really like, they like borderline yeah. held hands for a minute there that was quite nice just to you know really have that like you know brotherly energy within the team lovely right here's the investment m4s are plenty and no excuses here for MIPR. They need to hit the ground running. This is a bonus round that they're up against. Very fast over here in main. Hooks, he's trying to fake the A play. Might have needed to do a bit more. The bait rotates there out of MIBR. Oh, that spam is so unbalanced, though. That's what, you know, the spam is whatever. It got nerfed a bit, but it's, you, you always see T spamming. Okay, you always see T spamming back. You never see them hit a shot. But yeah, Enazan just did 70 damage, and they fired right back onto him for nothing. I don't even know how you're meant to respond to that. Honestly, it got a bit of a nerf. I feel like it still needs a bit more of a nerf, you know, on that lower spam. The the one to middle is better, but 
Yeah, it's kind of free damage. Make of it what you will. Your mileage may vary. There's G2. Got to up the gear into this B site. Flashes are good, leaving everyone here blind, and they've got a path to get this. Oh, oh Vardis! What? What was he doing that? I've never seen anyone do the barn off that quick. He just descended into a third dimension. Oh, he went flying, Harry. And then the fourth dimension. Yeah, we're already JKS. in the third. <laughs> I need to see that Inside back. Inside of the site Replay. now. Monesty might have some smooth moves, but it's going to take some fancy trigger work here to win this one. G2 relying on a swing from JKS. Oh, oh. into the triple peak. That's, see, that's the thing about Dalmatian. That's why we rely on him so much. <laughs> he's 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 great. He's on the board. He's doing them dirty. Yo, okay. Monesty, we know he's got the moves. We know he's got the bugs. We know he's got the smokes, but I've never seen that one. He just saved that for a little man down round. Came <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he went flying! Turtle is suddenly... Oh my god! <laughs> Jump scare. There's did a man up boost there. him? There's a man up there! Did someone boost him? Or did he just... He just no, yeeted. he did it himself. That was a full yeet. That was a full Monacy yeet. Dude, that was sick! Everyone get in the dry run server right now. Figure that out. Oh my god. Mind blown by this kid. When will he stop? Well, right now, actually, and he puts it there. <laughs> what? Honestly, though, teaching an old dog some new tricks. <laughs> and now Dalmatian on the other side. <laughs> How will he respond to that? Uh, we've taught this Dalmatian some new spots. He does know plenty. Untap. Moving through the nuts. Okay. And the Nutcracker. And Jota waits. Ooh. Oh. This is tense. This is so scary. Mm. Okay. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. It's a standoff. A wait a thought. <laughs> Eventually, his barrel's going to get seen if he keeps turning around. I almost wonder if it got seen just yeah, then on that probably, turnaround. Yeah. But Jota's so patient. Oh. He's waiting here forever. He deserves the kill. Get him. Yeah. And he's going to get Good it. Patience. Jota, his patience is rewarded. And now nice. his other patients are deceased. He's cut through them. JKS falls as well. And so we have a second on the board for MIBR. Alrighty, yeah, a bit of a game on our hands. I just kind of want to see like Monacy fly up on that B ramp every round, to be honest, for the whole game. That would be nice. That would be cool. But alas, G2 get dropped. Also, just going to throw this out there while we have a lot in the action. Please never refer to Donut again as the nut. Why? Hey, I like the, the replay. It's just, Why? Why? It it's, is the nut. I know, and it's a, it's an abbreviation. That much is factual. Just some rather stank imagery that comes with it. Hey, that's your brain, right? not mine. Nico. Brought down a three, hoping that something was going to connect off the Deagle, but it doesn't. G2, they went out. They hoped that could be their opener. That could give them a bit of direction. But even a not. bit of Dalmatian. Sorry, I'll stop. One flash. That is it. The flash of dreams. Or flash of memes because Henny is now deep in CT it might not do much the blind hunter at least got someone I'm gonna try and pick them out the sky bomb loose hit Hooksy running a mark mate he is all the way through temple but Henny is just firing off Hooksy with a Glock yes. takes down the AWP my captain oh captain and now Nico and JKS waiting in main Nico was bought down a 3 HP right off the top, and he's going to get finished off last over in main. So I don't know what your problem is with the nut at the end of the day. Like, they are very healthy. It's full of protein, and, you know, they're found everywhere. They grow everywhere, Harry. And, ooh, 
Climb it? Climb it. Is that what, what you're going with this? go with that one. I don't know what this bit is. Neither. I don't know what this bit is. If you had a higher, a higher IQ, maybe you would. Fine. Okay, fine. We can roll with it. It yeah. is an abbreviation. It kind of rolls off the tongue quite nicely. What, that rolls off your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so here we are, Odyssey. <laughs> Taking a peek down through the V ramp, it would seem. It, yes, indeed, of course. Hoping. <clears throat> hoping? <laughs> hoping that he's given a fight here early. Nico also with him. There are there are two players now, Ooh. still two as they kind of replenish every time they disappear. Oh, and Modesty nice. with the openers. Jota wading through the nut, gonna come in. On a bit of a backstab, perhaps. Hunter is watching for it. <laughs> Bomb planted now by the hookster. And this is, I mean, if they're going for this, they're going to move quick, right? Still top red, smoked off in CT is exit. That might be what MIB will have to do in this round. Just leaving that caveman in Henny who's waiting, who... Yeah, my eventually we'll just get shot in the back. He was calling, guys, I have so much space. Come to me. And they were on the way, but now they've got to save. A spam through the smoke. I say that. They're still going for yeah. it. They're still giving it a go, but Monacy can end this entire round here and now. In fact, he must. Hunter is still in lane. He's all the way away, and MIBR are going to save. It's a fake retake. Paid actors on this one. MIBR just going to get out of there with their guns in check. Bit of damage on the way out as well. One man surviving. This was sick from Turtle. I mean, all in vain, of course, but uh, lovely double hold, both headshots, and then Monacy just does it back. But you can do, I can do better. A lot of smoke spam, but not enough to win the round for empty. Oh, yeah, that's kids a classic, are, kids that's are a smart, classic man. one, man. Yeah. Uh, back no, in I, Britland. Britland. You know, anything to have fun nowadays, now that you can't keep the power on, you know, <laughs> you've, got, you've got to get innovative with it. Jota, taking a peek down the lane. But it is being held, and they're kind of accounting on getting this fight. <laughs> they, they almost want it. But MIBR back out of middle. Much to their benefit. No longer in the prying eyes of that orb. But speaking of prying eyes of the orb, Henny going to crack open this attempt at the A fake. JKS dead in the water. And Hunter might just have to up and leave here as well. He's going to flash himself in. Dodged. Smoked off. G2 called to a pause here in the B site. Coming down the ramp. Oh, Modesty gun not ready in time. Off of the quick switch. It's Turtle finding that kill again. Good spam. You got to aim really low as a CT if you want to fire back through it though because of uh, the ramp. Turtle is a rock at this B bomb site. Really coming out of his shell in this map after a quiet start. Two on five. Maybe MIPR slip even further down the ramp. If they do, Hunter's got a little double kill on the plate, but he's immediately dead. And Nico with the backstab, they've come back up the ramp. Maybe Turtle walks into his crosshair. This corner is not as deep as you may think. Turtle peeks from the left side, Nico's dead. He sees a shadow. Jota's got to walk in as well. They're going to double face. There's the contact. Nico runs away. 15 seconds he's saving, or at least trying. Yeah, it does run the risk of going down after time. Ooh, that would be big. And that would be pretty juicy. That yeah. would be pretty juicy. Nico. Oh dear, they want to take this gun away. Love and that. to take it away, they shall. They Very wait for cool. time to expire. And they were ready to double swing him there. They were full pincering him. That was by design. Waiting. So now you've really done a number to the money of G2. Yeah. And Henny, we not had to see him too much in this map, right? But, you know, anchoring A now with the AWP, perfect position. Going to have a lot more trouble getting away with T-side T or picks. T, uh, T, yeah. Side or picks. T-E, phone home. Thank you, Harry. That's, <laughs> that's uh, yeah. That's a reference. Turtle. Oh, he's just sending it, mate. He is very confident on this B-side. If it gets pistol, it is free. I mean, these pistols, they're just glocks. I've seen Hooksy get glock kills. Yeah, Trace killed an orb with a glock in this game. Mm. But not in this round.
mean, this is like real pug vibes right here, trapped outside of double doors while they're just re-smoking it over and over again. You're so bored that Nico's just staring at his shoes, checking them out. But now are you'll get given the boot soon. Here they are. Trampling upon you as you try to get out through the double doors. It's a quick, clean round. Well, yeah, quick. I'm kind of lying to you a there. Round. It's a clean round. All right, but now the challenge starts up again. Blocks were easy mode. Now G2 bring out the big guns. And keep in mind, yeah, maybe this game is a little more uh, competitive. It's also the CT side of Ancient. It's a great spot to be for MIBR. It's also where we expect G2 to, you know, show us something interesting. They picked this map. They knew they were starting T side. It's their first game with Hooksy as a captain. I want to see something, uh, something different, something new in this game. They're going to contact A in this round. Exits deep in Donut. Henny's nowhere to be seen. He's out in the middle with Jota. And, oh my god, Nico just gets spammed from pocket. That's not ideal, but smoke's come down anyway, and G2 enforced their fair amount of saves in this game. This round could be one of them as well. That smoke gets spammed through Hooksy dinked. A shot from death in the right place could end him, but that molly saves his life and allows for the pod. Five on five post. Nico is very late, but if someone tries to flank elbow, he is in wait. Oh, but his funny bow might get tickled here. The swing oh. out of beer and Enesan has found him. Man advantage now for MIPR in the retake. Flash in main is nice. Hooksy is blind. 10 health. Oh, Hooksy. They know about him now. Luckily enough, his teammates win this fight over at Temple, and that really was the swing engagement. Next man dead into the firing line, and Hooksy just playing with yeah. his food in main. That was really nice on the little 1v1 he was having. Yeah, he was 10 health that entire time, and his opponent was, was you know, over, you know, about 50, and he stalled that out for so long uh, that his team were just mopping up the, the, the round in the site. Hooksy even wins his engagement. So nice and easy there for G2 in the post pod. Yeah, it might be all, you know, they don't don't know what to do when we get these full XX. They rely on smoke spec that they're even in this scoreline at 5-5. Very competitive. Already all the makings of a good T side and maybe more to find. Oh, G2 want to try and take middle. Henny, things are heating up for him here. Trapped in the corner. He's left fighting for his life. Still alive right now. Always time for that to change as they try to get out middle. They're running down his teammate, but Jota holds oh. on, and Henny keeps winning fight after fight. Mids off limits. G2 try to throw in a proper mid take with all the util. Smoking off top red. Molly in the copy. But they get annihilated. Henny's AWP, a huge part of that. And now just Monacy left. Does have a couple of 1v1s available, right? He's got this fight inside of B. If he goes mid, Henny's there alone, but there is support moving in through Dono. Monacy with the first. Now there's going to be a period of readjustment here for MIBR where they try to group back up. They try to be in position to respond on the back of Monacy's movements. And with CT being held, an immediate swing possible out of Henny. It feels too good to be true. Jota locks that one in. And so MIBR keep the lead in their favor. Yeah, Henny has been waiting mid in so many of these rounds and just nothing has been going on there. So it's nice to see him finally get paid off in that uh, cutout position. Smokes his Molotov, double kill off of it. Great cover for Jota. G2, if, if they don't nuke it with nades and more mollies, he's just going to get free repeats constantly. And they can't cross to him either with cover from Jota. So mid off the table for G2, it seems, in that round as they go back to pistols. Smoking a molly, fast climb up and four kills in an instant. Why not finish the job, Jota? Send it, baby. One more kill. Nico on the corner and he's got the ace. Lovely stuff. Anti-Ecos have been very clean for MIBR. That's a nice confidence-boosting stat padding round. And also, we don't have to wait while Glocks hide behind the door, which is nice. These A smoke attacks are working for G2. Maybe they go back to it. Yeah, you know, I mean, there has been some problem-solving efforts from MIBR. I think putting Henny's AWP here has kind of scared G2 away from it, right? The couple of rounds they've 
trying to look at that side of the map. The orbs often pick them off one at a time. Turtle. You see. Winning the opener in this round. Monacy on the receiving end of that. Oh, even spam damage connecting. MIBR looking very convincing on the CT half yeah. here. Great understanding of how to nullify this attempt at lane control. I feel like G2 have been so battered and bruised by the time they get it. The round already feels like it's falling into place for MIBR. Yeah, and even when they play respectful and they, they don't, you know, push down ramp or get all these spam kills off, Turtles are getting double kills in the site every time. They set up again, wrecked Hunter walking around it. And right now it's only Hooksy towards ramp. JKS is going to move in. They just don't know how close MIBR. They are not going to be ready for this peak. And you're likely going to walk around this the, corner. The peak scares me somewhat. Because, like, if they do, if they do... Oh, if, he, saw, uh, he saw it. He saw the quick switch. Hooksy knows they're close. He, he's saying, he's saying, flash me in. JKS is getting a flash out. Hooksy! Lovely. There it is! The lineup on the bottom of ramp, and Hooksy has dealt with them both. There's wow. the entry from Nico. And Hooksy, the playmaker of that round, what he gets the tiniest yeah. sliver of information and he uses it to rob a round away from MIBR. And you know what that was, Harry? That was a goddamn quick switch. That was a quick switch. Absolutely unnecessary from MIBR. Weapon change? What if you got peaked, huh? Well, actually, that's worse. The, the quick switch... Shows the barrel in the air. Hooksy comes it. I love that he didn't just drop his molly there as well. They could have easily run back if he throws his molly close ramp. Instead, calls for a flash from JKS. It's perfect. And he finds a double headshot. That was so well done by Hooksy. And a massive mistake by MIBR. Even the tiniest of details can lose you a round. Never quick switch. That's an advert right there. Nerves for MIBR showing through. And that's a swing round as well because with it, or without it rather, MIBR can still sweep this half. They're on a bit of a streak here. You know, ever since G2 went 3-0 up and have been dotting gun rounds in between, MIBR could have 10 this half. Now it's a very different game where their money's on the line. It can be broken in a couple. And then G2 could even get an 8-7 half. Oh, oh hello. Boy, oh, that's oh, messy. Oh, dear. He has... Oh! good things must come to an end for Hunter. Naded out. I thought he'd gotten away with it. I do like the positioning of JKS in this one. On a bit of a solo mission, all the way in top red. Ready to influence these rotations. Nico trying to deal with the threat in cave. And this smoke only has a couple more seconds left on it. Yeah, Renazan's just gotten away from him. JKS will Yoink. get rewarded for waiting here. And right now, there's only one man over at A. It's Henny with that AWP alone. G2, how do they want to slice this? Mm. That smoke was a nice fake to pretend that you're not hitting the B side, but what it's done is, is sent Exit back to the B side. He knows he was locked out by the smoke and he even sees double util come over B. That's a massive info now for MIBR. They know there are at least two players coming up ramp, plus JKS who was lurking mid. Henny's holding him. Oh, doesn't hit the headshot though. Gonna give it up completely. Let Bieta Enesan do it. As the plant comes in, it's the four kills on these two players. You've got to step up big. Nico starts strong, gets aggressive, drops the nade and gets out. But there's more kills to find. MIBR coming in through cave, hearing every step of the way. This is a big flank for G2. For a plant that is not for cave. Hooksy will live. And Nico, I mean, he has great timing at least. It's bad. And that's what they're hoping for. Oh. Instead, Nico has been swung on. And so now Hooksy does have to win this with the spam. That's he not the know. defuser. He needs one more bullet oh. and he's going to get it. Hooksy with the 1v2. And ironically, winning this game for G2, right? That double on ramp one than the previous round. Now he's clutching out rounds on his own. It's all Hooksy, baby. Get with the times. What a round, dude. It, it, it looked like he, he hadn't realized as well. Maybe someone comed it. He got that first kill through smoke. It wasn't the diffuser. And then maybe someone just told him to go through. Screw it. You got nothing to lose. And rightly so, he goes in. Last second saves the day. And this is what I mean. This could have been a 10-5 half if that double kill didn't come in on ramp. Yeah. But now, 
G2 are looking to win. Now for JKS as well, got a lot, you know, the kill counts are low for G2 right now, but they're winning rounds off of just positions and get forcing a lot of saves from MIBR. JKS got that big flank in the previous. Oh, I love the call as well. Yeah. Like this whole time, the battle for lane has been respectful. It's been a trader utility. It's been trying to outsmart. Whereas now they outpace. This is raw aggression that gets them into B and it's going to leave them a man up with the bomb down. Looking to do good on that eight, seven half. Jota doing everything in his power to claw this one back over at long. Hooksy puts up another frag and Hunt has joined him in the meantime. G2 flipped the script again. It's back in their favor. Hooksy trying to fight this every oh, step of the way. Crazy. And him and Hunter just trading wow. these fights. It works <laughs> to perfection. MIBR barely holding on. The T-side pistol could propel them forward, but they're going to need some seri serious strats in the second half if they want to overtake the Titans of G2. Yeah, very different setup over here towards B compared to what we had in the first half, right? It was kind of rip-roaring from the get-go, willing to fight for that lane control instead. G2 a lot more passive. This smoke dropped by Hunter in Donut. Real nice. Gonna just slow down this attempt at the A split. MIBR might start considering other options here with that smoke in their way. And in doing so, could go walking into this kind of fanned out setup that G2 are running all the way in the back line. Hooksy. One step ahead, reinforces this a bomb site, dropping over a little bit of extra utility. Hunter's got another smoke. He can re-smoke them in donut all over again. Do it. He wants contact first though, and by that point it might be too late to pull it out. He's holding oh, it, they're very oh close. God. He's gonna drop it. That first player might commit. No, they respect it. Smoke locks MIBR out. The G2 is still not moving over yet. There's still only two players strong. Finally, Uxi makes a move and flashes in front of Main as well. Damage done through this gap in the smoke. Uxi fires off and JKS even found Jota in Main. My God, these taps are coming through for G2. And there's nothing MIBR can do about it. The accidental gap that gave a lot of room to G2. And now MIBR may have red, but they're soon to be dead. Monacy dead, but Hooksy and Nico in position to keep that one under control. And with a pistol round now under their belts, G2, they could very well run away with this in the second half. Yeah. As long as they stick the landing on these conversions, that's going to do a lot of the legwork for them. You know, we've been we've been doing a bit of crawling as we do, and you know, I want to I want to say it does seem like Hooksy's shaken off a lot of the ring rust that 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 first tournament had back at Blast. You know, some nerves. Yeah, man. And, I mean, it's the classic big undertaking as well, like moving yeah. from uh, being used to being within like you know domestic teams where everyone's speaking the same language and you're all on the same page there. You know, now you're coming into an international lineup. It, it's all you know. It's a big learning curve to it, and. You know, to, to be implementing stuff or simultaneously common in a different language is, uh, yeah. is always going to be challenging. I also think, you know, it will be different versus different layers and different levels of opposition. This is not the hardest team that G2 will have to face in the group. And I'm excited to follow this story, the new G2 team. But the signs are very good right now. Got 3K in the pistol, some taps. And MIB on blocks should mean a double digit half for G2 at bare minimum. I'm trying to play with JKS in main. Glocks will come back to A, leaving Jota making a bit of a ruckus at B, but JKS, even if he doesn't mop up all three kills here, Monacy's in position to help out, or at least he was. Exit does have a deagle, and they've only seen and heard Glocks, so he could get like just Ooh. one deagled on a swing here. Now JKS kind of trapped in. Flash. Gonna get flashed. Set up for a peek. Oh, we'll hold on. Lovely. Sending the bomb away. And now I'm no longer worried about this Deagle really doing anything. Looking like a flawless round for G2. Nice. Full by for MIBR now. And all smiles, all mates, all high fives for G2. It around. Gonna have to use their utility very wisely as to not waste it. Jota in the mid smoke won't commit. Nico getting aggressive in cave. 
here in the span. They have already... Oh, that's close. He's already, they've already crossed the ledge. He's even got the jewelies out. The more bullets, the better. Oh, he faked the reload, hoping they'd run through with it. That was really nice. I've seen a lot of teams fall for that. It's usually have like a double setup. You have two players here. One gets the reload, and the other just kills the player who runs through. But he just did one millisecond of the animation yeah. of the reload, and then switched off, and that makes the sound to the enemy. It's actually a triple setup in Cave as well. Nico and his two dual Berettas. Monacy down low in Donut. Jota flashed out off the angle. Oh, I like that. Walking the boost to get down silently. Nice little details. Oh. And even winning that opening engagement. Be at Enazan might be low, but he still comes out ahead of Nico. 40 seconds and the bomb going all the way back through T spawn. G2, they might rotate away from this one. Trying to lean more towards that B side of the map as the bomb sneaks through main. Suddenly, Hunter up on this boost really needs a double or else they're saving. And with only one coming from the SMG, if the name won't do it, then this should be a save for G2. Oh, JKS just has such a good position. He wants to make something happen. And if a kill comes through smoke, if JKS grabs a frag, you never know. But, oh, two nades and no kills. One put Turtle low, but six health in middle. Doesn't look like Biera Enazan's going to get cleared. So you're right, Harry. Safe to say, MIBR on the board with a T-side round. One was not enough for Hunter. This game stays close. I think MIBR have already made it kind of clear that they want to take these rounds pretty slow as far as they go, right? Really fan out and look for a source of this opening pick before going back into like a grouped commitment later on. Uh, this is going to put a lot of waiting around these opening fights. And G2 might have been able to squeak out a win in that first half despite not looking good in the opening kill department. But that cannot afford to happen now. Honestly, taking this fight over here in middle does leave him in a bit of a scary place. And with him dead immediately, what? Things really up in the air now. I think he's getting bullied through this cave wall. Both halves just getting spammed all T-side long. It's not going to get better. He's down to seven. He needs to give it up. Playing with fire. JKS will stop a man crossing to top red in middle. It's actually a really noteworthy trade. You know, finding a four on four in a moment like this gonna force MIBR to group and go for the site here and unlike last time they're not 5v4 out of the gate they're not in a situation where you need a two for one out of your uh, out of your site anchor there's a little less stress on G2 in this moment now because of JKS and getting that trade from Donut MIBR grouping for another one of these A hits and once again G2 kind of hedging their bets on a mid play instead. Yeah, they cleared it, but that's left no one in this A site. And again, as much as this is a problem for MIBR, G2 are going to have the same issue. Smoke's going to come down. They're relying on spam. Oh, but it's good spam. Good spam indeed. JKS might be blinded, but thankfully it blinded everyone from MIBR as well. And now they line up for it. Only the one from the donut player, Hooksy, retrieving this A1S, coming in with a backstab through mid. They're Aww. not accounting for it. They're not ready for it. And so Hooksy might have saved the day here. Bia Eda Enazan versus Nico. 1v1 with 10 seconds. The pressure is on Bia Eda Enazan. He taps the bomb. He waits Aww. for a reswing. There isn't any time. And Nico is there to walk it over the line. Damn. I mean, if Nico is a step closer, Bia Eda Enazan probably wins that round, right? That fake was, was nice. It was just Nico wasn't there in time. He was walking as quick as he could to check that site. And there's only so long Bia Eda Enazan can hold that angle. Nice try from the guy. That was three kills from him in middle. But it's still going to be G2's round. Nico, who gets spammed awfully. Uh, bad through cave down to seven will just clutch it out with seconds to spare 
11 for G2, saving the day. You can see how much util will come down. 4B to start G2 with a read. Yeah, they want to try and take it, right? That's what this is screaming. Smoke in double and lane stripped away. Oh, it's blanketed in fire. Four Molotovs. There was nowhere that you could have stood if you're MIPR. Very coordinated for G2. Every molly just perfectly touching tip to tip. Every area blanketed by fire. Nico Smoke's elbow, but they are way further than anyone is ready for right now. Our eyes on the price. Now they know. But was it worth it? Nico dead to be at Enesan and now Donut corrupted as MIBR try and split this ace like quick. I think the alarm bells are probably going off now, right? Like, you, you realize that they've kind of found these gaps and you've got no idea just how deep the problem runs. Going to try and play for the info back in a donut. Not a bad move. They need to get a bit of info somehow, some way. And Monacy could have it on his plate, but instead, dead to Turtles, Mac 10. The A site wide open. G2 can't even really justify looking at this one. And so Hunter's got to back out and save. G2 couldn't even get into middle in the T side. Right now, MIBR's main real estate is mid. They keep killing rotations. They keep stopping little peaks from G2, little info plays coming out from B lane or red. So many entry kills coming in from Bieta Enazan in the middle area. And we talked about how this guy was a rifler, purebred rifler, joined this team, became an AWPA out of necessity uh, after Woody's departure, and is now back on the rifle as, as Henny has obviously picked up the AWP. And man, he just looks so comfortable on this gun. We haven't seen him AWP in this series, but I can assure you he is very, very capable to run that second AWP. Not been needed so far, not even really been afforded on CT halves. But uh, on the rifles, man, he keeps he keeps beating Nico in head to heads. That's back to back rounds. He's done it. So, well, not back to back, but yeah, the last two fights in middle, he's having Nico. He's won. So, very impressive stuff for an extremely young player. You know, we talk about Monacy being 17 years of age. He's only 19. But he's had a lot of experience. You know, being in and out of this MIBR team over the past 12 months, a couple of times. This is a really competitive game right now. This is not a lock-in 2-0 for G2. Little XX getting run at B. And yeah, the bomb's here, but I think this is a fake. They've got three players walking out of A main. And you can tell G2 are really banking on this idea that at any Ooh. moment they're going to get the fast B. And in one of these rounds, they're going to get the fast B. That's smart. This time they are going to get ahead of it. They might have played heavy into the hands of that B site to open up, but now they send... The bulk of players back to reinforce the A-hold. A re-smoke available. But at this point, I feel like you kind of want them to push. Kind of oh. want MIBR to go into the stack. I mean, this is just G2 confirming what they already know. That was too blatant of a fake. They ran a full smoke exec, but no one pushed with it. And and then when you, know, you throw the A main smoke and it all goes quiet in a five on five and no one pushes B, it's so obvious that MIBR were just faking you and have grouped back at A main. G2 has stacked this site. Now, they have lost JKS, but they've got the majority of players here. A third guy even leaning over. So G2 know what's going on, but unfortunately with the weaponry they have, that's not going to save them. We even have another donut split into this A site and more entry kills from Bia, Edda, and Hassan. Oh, Ooh. these are some nice kills, but that's all it might end up being, right? Nothing to win them the round. Gun irretrievable as well. Hooksy could make a play trying to grab it, and that might be his best option, really. That's what he's hoping for. Right there on the corner. Oh, even grabbing the deagle as well. Nice. Oh my God. A kit oh my there. God. Oh, nice. He's got everything out of this. He's looted. Still, MIBR with a 10th. This is a very, very compelling T side. They're putting a great case forward for teams to watch out for them on Ancient here. Yeah, and you know, this is uh, the first time G2 have picked this map in, in a long time, if, you know, out of my memory at all. Like, the last three times they played it all back at Cologne, that kind of time, it was always either th floated as a third or opponents picking into it. And G2 were on a three win streak on that map with Alexi in the, you know, in the leading department. So this is, 
you know, they came in prepped. They had a great T side. An eight round T side is way more than what you need, but they are falling flat on their face right now. Yeah, it's really ugly, and they're not making it easy for themselves. They have five opening kills. It, you know, we're, we're 23 rounds into a game. They have five. You know, oh that's crazy. God. That is. That smoke bug, it didn't put out the yeah. bomb. That is playing this on hard mode. Having to play so many of these rounds 4v5 down. And when the opening duels are weighted so heavily in terms of the success for MIBR, the fact that they're coming out ahead more often than not, and I mean really more often than yeah. not, is uh, it is telling us to the scoreline we've got here. That's a really annoying bug. Like, it looks silly because Hooksy's just running into a Molotov, but they threw a smoke on the molly. It goes because it bloomed on the molly, but it doesn't put it out. That sometimes happens. And yeah, Hooksy, I mean, he goes one for one. Fair. Gives Nico the gun, which is, you know, honestly what you'd want, but he's having a bit of a quiet one. Nine kills. Bottom of the server. Yeah, and you know, Hooksy's actually having a very good game at 12 and 14, top of the team. But that's a bad thing, yeah. really. He was great. brought in here to drop 30 kills, Harry. Great for Hooksy, great for Hooksy fans, but bad for G2 as a whole because we need the stars to step up this is and winnable. fill this void. They're making this round happen. This is more like it. Modesty and Nico with a killer piece. Add that on to the kill that Hooksy got to open, and suddenly you've really got something going here. You might be onto something, G2. We're cooking. Very safe setup, JKS gonna make contact, he dies, but he at least sets his team up with the knowledge that at 20 seconds, this is a B hit, Hunter needs to get going. Nico, a nice angle to find that bomb drop, 10 seconds, he just needs to live, and he gets caught backing up. Surely Exit can't win this one. The safe plant faked out, Monacy swings, and oh, Exit has time. No time, oh, he, he jumped it, he faked it. Yeah, maybe not, maybe the jump screwed him over more than necessary but honestly it did seem like that was just a guaranteed b play seeing one of those players come up ramp at 20 seconds hunter just wasn't convinced he was very late and that's two rounds now in this half g2 of one from being a little too late it's done them great favors right be it nico coming out tempo into that 1v1 on the a site against be it Enazan, and hunter not being there to swing it works wonders for g2 six five yeah, he jumped. Yeah, that did that did kill him. Maybe a maybe a miss jump, and that's probably why he faked. Very nice try. Read it well, but mechanical problems. Oh my! Even the molly burns our turtle there. They just sat inside of it. Is this the changing of the winds, Harry? Is this G2 back with winds? Ooh! <laughs> Uxi, you know you're lucky to still be alive there. So he just drops the smoke. Kind of guy to just dry face and all on a jiggle. Nico, you are running low on ammo. Very low on ammo. Four bullets. I know it only takes two to kill. Oh, oh this is crazy. Oh. Yeah, that was the opportunity. He knew it. He nearly found that timing. Just a millisecond off. Acro down through ramp. Hooksy, oh. you madman. You madman. Tempted the AWP once already. But this time, the second time, it's one time too much. Henny with that 4v4, the equalizer found. Now, maybe they discount JKS. Maybe they do because they just saw Hooksy here. That's the decision that's going to make or break this round. Will JKS be checked? Oh. No, that's the bomb dropped. Wow. And G2 are in with 13. Shredded. Shredded wheat, Harry. Breakfast served for MIBR. And they've got to choke it down with 10 rounds now. G2 have started to pick up pace. Two in a row. Nico just hasn't quit in the cave, right? Very aggressive. That double molly set up onto cave was onto lane as well was really nice. Burnt out of first player. Somehow, MIBR were confused about that death. JKS saves the day again with a double down round. 30 to 10, they smoked the molly for a boost but it's only one rifle in this round. G2 won a round like this. But that being said, shouldn't be as easy on the T-half. Hootsie spots it with a flash. Oh, they're trying to get them to peek back into the AWP. Monacy, this shot. Nico keeps on pressure. But they could overwhelm him here with numbers in the cave. They run the smoke, they jump in. Nico, oh, picks his shots back to the pistol. Gun picked up, and he doesn't want to rush it. But one bullet. Through a wall even, that's enough for Nico. Five on three. 
to, to put, you know, to add insult to injury, the gun's irretrievable. Oh, 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 man. He didn't want to reload. He just took their gun fully loaded, ready to go. And again, on for the ace now is Nico. He's woken Jota up. Jota had one. Now it's Nico's turn. Oh, oh, robbery, bitch. Couldn't let him have it. No, it makes perfect sense because Hooksy's the star. Nice round from Nico, man. Very nice. Uh, he went from bottom of the server to top of the server, or second in the server, rather, very quickly uh, in this CT side. And, you know, early the cave rounds weren't doing a lot. He was getting stamped, he's getting pushed down low. Ever since that clutch on the A site, he has been getting a lot more value out of this. And yeah, it's a bit of karma for MIBR. It'd be as easy this time. Monacy now finally has the AWP for Donut, and that turns it into a whole different situation. He's not actually taking it, Donut. Instead, he had the spawn for main. He wanted to go and peek that, but was mollied off. He likes AWPing from that Donut position. Oh, you're and stop the sentence there. No, he likes open from Donut. And seeing him play it with the rifle, it looked a little uncomfortable. You know he can offer up more with that AWP. Yeah, that's that's when we saw this guy, right? In Navi Academy, in the Academy League. Navi Junior. But, yeah. Navi Junior, sorry. Sorry, shredding uh, teams coming from Donut to mid. He was this, so uh, quick. Fake out again. It's drawn a lot of players over. Hooks, he's still in the site. Do they run the smoke? And there's no one even there to trade. This is so stifled for MIBR. They've run out of gas, haven't we all? But even then, five on three, and Nico's trying to close. Yeah, I mean, you could actually make a pretty good case for, for saving, as awful as that sounds. You know, if they go for this in the 3v5 and come up short, they've got nothing to play with up against 15. A bomb plant could flush the cash enough so that even if they lose the round, they still have full, uh, you know, like full AKs out in the next. Still, they're going to need that at a bare minimum if they want to stop this from being a 2-0 for G2. Nico in cave doesn't feel the need, doesn't feel the pressure to fight for this. They've got 15 seconds, man. If they want to win it, they've got to start pushing and they've got to come now. G2 are poised. They're ready to go with the B defense. They've dealt with Henny. Oh. And even though exit's quick save. with that opener, it is a save in cave, a combat save out of MIBR. Toe in the line. Oh, no. There's Danger's revenge. right round the corner. They want to take the guns out. They really want to do a number <laughs> to the money. And with two players dying after time, it's revenge for G2 as they hit 15. Yeah. Two players with like, I think it was like $200. That is really, really rough. It's exactly what happened to Nico in the first half. We've had so many like similarities go back the other way and G2 just doing them worse as well. Nico has been a huge part of this save of the game for G2 towards B, not just Turtle was in the start of the game, locking down as an anchor with so many multi kills. And yeah, look at this, look at this pitiful attempt at an investment. Poor MIBR, literally, with that after death time. Honestly, getting run down. He throws the AWP out. Ah, he got it. I thought he was going to forget it there. Still dies, but at least gets the AWP a bit further away into the spray. Oh. JKS. Three Go kills. On. Thing of beauty, man. Lovely from Mr. Savage. And now just exit left to be in a 4v1. He's running all the way back to somewhere, but hell, man, it's very unlikely here, isn't it? He's being held by Hooksy from ledge. Can he get the kill to end it all? Spotting him now. He knows where he is. Oh, it's a drawn-out fight, but there we go. Woo!